Agenda with Jenny Salvo. Season's greetings, Jenny Salvo with the WLS AM890 Morning Show, and this is your weekend agenda for the weekend before Thanksgiving, November 17th through November 20th. It is a busy weekend in the city of Chicago. They are lighting the official Christmas tree at 4 p.m. on Friday evening in Millennium Park. It moved to Millennium Park last year, so this is the second year that the official Christmas tree is going to be there. Also, ice skating. The ice skating rink at Millennium Park is opening up on Friday. However, Maggie Daly, the ribbon, not going to be open until next Friday, so you're going to have to wait till just after Thanksgiving. The Chris Kindle Market also opening in Daly Plaza on Friday, so you can go and get your mug filled with apple cider. That's what they fill it with, right? Or is it beer or wine or something? I don't know. Apple cider just sounds so much tastier. That opens and will be running through Christmas Eve. Now the Magnificent Mile Lights Festival is on Saturday. The parade steps off at 5 p.m. from Michigan at Oak Street heading southbound. Mickey and Minnie are going to be in the parade coming all the way down or all the way up from Walt Disney World to join in that parade. Fireworks will be about 6.55 at the end of the parade. If you don't feel like going downtown and getting in the middle of everything, Burr Ridge is also having a lights festival, and so is the Promenade in Bolingbrook. Also going on this weekend, the Girls on the Run Fall 5K in Grant Park on Saturday morning. We are not expecting any road closures, but that will be happening and everything should be wrapped up just before noon. Now, Kevin Matthews, the legendary radio host in Chicago, is going to be doing his podcast live in Countryside. All of the information at WLSAM.com. So keep in mind that the CTA and Metro will be adding service. Metro has that $8 weekend unlimited pass so you can get you and your family into the downtown area to see all these fun things going on is that snow it is snow there's a chance for snow flurries on friday night we're supposed to get rain but if the temperatures dip far enough we might get snow flurries overnight friday into saturday in fact it might even feel like it's in the 20s all day on saturday so it's time to get out that winter coat the winter boots bundle up get an eight dollar metro ticket and head downtown for this weekend's event with Jen.